Hello ladies and gentlemen from Slide Nerd. I am Weaves. What's up? How are you guys doing today? So in this bit, I'm going to talk about how to tell if a number is Armstrong or not. You probably have a number like 153 and there's a question mark. And my question is, is this Armstrong and what is an Armstrong number first? So let's go and see in this bit what exactly an Armstrong number is. So here the output is something like this. I say enter the number 153 says your number is very Armstrong, enter the number 1634, it says your number is very Armstrong, but if you say 132, it's a loser. Now if you're a beginner, you're probably wondering at this point, now what the hell is this Armstrong number? So let's go and see what the hell it is. So what is an Armstrong number? It's very simple. If you take the number 153, then there is something very tricky about it. If you say 1 cubed plus 5 cubed plus 3 cubed, that exactly gives you 153. That is, the sum of the digits each digit raised to the length gives you 150 the number itself then that becomes an Armstrong number now again if you take 1634 take a good look the length of the number 1634 is 4 so 1 raised to 4 plus 6 raised to 4 3 raised to 4 it exactly gives you 1634 now such kind of weird numbers they are called Armstrong numbers but if you take something else like 132 then this doesn't happen so that's not an Armstrong number that's a simple explanation so what are you gonna do in our program well, we are going to do something like this. We are going to take a number. We are going to find its length. We are going to calculate the digit raised to length for each digit. Then sum up that for all the digits, right? That is the sum of all digits. And ultimately, if the sum is a original number, then yes, it's an Armstrong number. Otherwise, it's no. So now that you guys know how this program works, I'll go into that beans and we'll get this baby up and running. Alright, so now I'm on that beans. There is nothing much inside this project. It's an empty project, right? I have to take input from the user. So I say system.out.println, enter the number. To read the number, I need a buffered reader, which is the way of taking input in Java. I use that integer.parseInt, reader.readline. Reader.readline is the part which reads the data, converts it into an integer, stores it inside the variable called int number. Uh, so now at this point, everything is set up. First, we need to find the length of the number. I'm going to copy my number into something called temp. Temp is a variable just like number. I'll say string temp. The shortest way to find length is to convert the number to a string and then use the length function on it. So I'm going to do that. I'll say string t is temp plus this and int length is t dot length. Now I've got the length directly in one shot. So now keep the number as it is. We play with temp instead of modifying the number. So we'll say digit is temp person 10 as you know. We need to extract the last digit. So if we take the model list with 10, we get it exactly. Then I'm going to have a variable called sum because we need 1 cube plus 5 cube plus 3 cube. So we are going to need a sum, right? So we'll say sum equals to sum plus power, that is math dot path, digit power length, that is 1 cubed for uh, 153 and 1 raised to 4 for 1634. So it is digit power length. I need to convert this into an integer because math.pow is double stuff. We need to type cast it. Then I'll say temp equals to temp by 10. It's the same thing. Temp is number. Remember, we are not modifying the number. We are modifying temp. So I'll say while, num while temp not equals to 0, find the last digit, then take the sum and divide the number by 10 to get the next digit. I'm going to put this inside. So at this point I have the sum, I need to check if the number that is NO, the original number is equals to the sum or not. So I'll say if sum equals number then it means it's an Armstrong number because 1 cube plus 5 cube plus 3 cube is 153, that's what we are trying to find over here. I'll say it's an Armstrong number. Otherwise it's not an Armstrong number. So now to run this, I'll see, check everything once. All right, looks good to go. Say Control S, Shift F6 to run. Enter the number, I'll say 154. As you can see, it says nope. But if you enter the number 153, it says it's an Armstrong number. So I hope you guys got something out of this. All right, if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, leave your comments, let me know what you think about this. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.